Good day and thank you for tuning in. I'm Shiva Merovaran from Morgan State University and I'll be presenting my work on using the fellow eye cornea as the reference surface for comparing corneal elevation. In handling bilateral eye data with strong correlation, it's common practice to analyze the data from only one eye. But some studies have suggested that lack of symmetry should be interpreted as a clinically significant finding. However, elevation symmetry studies have some major limitations. One limitation is that they use data from only one or two points. Second, measurements are made from a variable reference surface. That's the top image here. In this study, I used the fellow eye as a reference surface and captured all data points. As you see here in the bottom, we expect normal eyes to be a perfect fit so all difference points should, um, difference values should be zero. The data for this study was from a large cohort of more than 5,000 adult, adults who had a complete eye exam and imaging with the Pentagon. The raw elevation data was exported from the system and I received over 9,000 data files, one file per eye. For data management and visualization, I used Python and its various libraries and functions. After matching the IDs, there were 4,615 bilateral cases. First, I flipped the left eye data matrix 180 degrees around its y-axis and then subtracted corresponding points. Before data visualization, I masked the difference matrices to the central six millimeter zone, cropped the extra data and applied a plus minus 70 micron scale to all 4,615 files each containing close to 3,000 data points. In the majority of cases, a plain yellow map was generated, which I call flat. These were cases that had very little interocular differences and the two corneas fit nicely with very little or no gap between them. Another pattern is tilt. In these cases, there were negative values on one side and positive ones on the other. This pattern indicates a difference in the imaging axis between fellow eyes and one eye is off axis. The next pattern is what I named cone. In these cases, one cornea is steeper than the other and the gap between them increases as we move from the center to the periphery. This is a pattern we'd expect to see in central keratoconus. The next discernible pattern was what I like to call four leaf. In these cases, the cornea in one eye is steeper in a certain meridian and flatter in the perpendicular meridian. These would be cases of direct symmetry, especially in the presence of corneal astigmatism. And finally, we have irregular for anything that can't be properly described. In conclusion, this is a feasible approach for identifying abnormalities for future work, I'm planning to extract data for machine learning and cluster analysis, and then test the model with clinically classified data. Thank you.